guys, welcome back. It's Jess here again today. So today I'm gonna show you guys like my little fit and stuff. Um, and then I'm like, I'm just gonna take you down to clean my room a little bit because my room needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I gotta try to find my cord from my mini fridge and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. And uh, we also gotta feed my son, who's two months old. He's not, he's cluster feeding right now because he's growing. So. I'm just kind of letting him fuss until four hours because he's going to eat every three instead of four again. And that's not good. We don't need that again. Um, there was a pile of clothes on my bed too. So like, I gotta do all that. I gotta make my bed. Oh, that jazz. But here's my fit. So you guys, I can't turn my camera around when it's basic. Why do you think I'm filming on my phone? But uh, don't mind that. Here's my fit. It's some white pants. That I've never wore before. I've never wore white before. Let me see if I can like set you guys up somewhere. Like, can you guys like maybe sit here? Let me see if I can turn you on. There we go. So here's the fit. It's just a gray top with some white jeans. Um, that I've never wore before. They're new. I got them from a family member, but they are just some white jeans, and I'm probably just gonna wear like my tie dye shoes. I don't know how I feel about them. They're cute and all. Ooh, my belly. But like, I don't know. Maybe I should tuck them in. Like, does that look cute? I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't know. But that's my fit. So I don't know exactly. I also have a black eye. My son gave it to me. That's, that's lovely. He had butted me the other day and gave me a black eye, so. So I'm going to set you guys here. And you guys are going to kind of come. You can do me, but you're going to come along on the journey with me. Uh, digging through this mess. Making my bed and some other things. Um, I forgot to get the rest of my child's clothes out of the dryer. So my mom can do hers because if you don't know... You guys can't even see me talk. If you don't know, I currently live with my mama. Oh my God. I live with my mom. I'm only 17, that's why. I had a kid pretty early on. I didn't mean to, but it happened. But anyways, so I live with my mom. So she's gotta get her laundry done too. Yeah. So there's a spot on the camera and that's gonna bug me if it don't go away. What is that? What is that? It's like, it's like a little, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, okay, whatever. So, that was awkward. There's like a spot on the camera and it bugs me, but if I get real close, it like, well, it was going away. Yeah, see, it goes away. But if I back up, it comes back. I don't, I don't know what that's called. from. So anyways, we're gonna get started on laundry. Because I have a bunch of stuff to fold and I've been shoving it in my closet, honestly. For like about a week now. Yeah. I've just been really tired. Um, because my son's going through cluster feeding stage. Which means he's growing. And so like. Instead of sleeping his six hours like he was. He's only sleeping three again. Instead of eating the five to six ounces like he was. He's only eating three to four again. So, I have been up most of the night, and it's been a long, crazy journey to get the child to go back to his normal habits. So, let's see if you guys will fit with this. You guys can kind of see when I duck over here in my closet. There you go. This shelf right here, don't mind it. It's actually my sister. She, um, she lived here before she moved out. She lived in the basement. Um, and then I moved to the basement because my room was getting too small with my son in it like it was too small for anything so i moved back to the basement i moved to the basement not back to it. i moved to the basement um so i could have some more room and he could have his own room uh but you hear him screaming i promise y'all i'm not starving him like any of you moms that's like oh my god go feed that baby and all this i'm not starving him i actually feel bad for letting him cry, but I asked my mom for advice, and she even said, let him 
cry until four hours because he doesn't need to cluster feed because if he cluster feeds he's gonna get back on that um schedule where he's gonna eat every three hours and wake up every three hours he's also very crabby because he has had not had a nap pretty much all day well i take that back he had like an hour long nap not even an hour it was more like 15 minutes like it was like 40 minutes so sorry the pins were a little big so he did have a little little nap but he got up at 5 a.m then didn't go back to bed till 9 and slept till t he fell asleep at like 9 50 i want to say and slept till like 10 20 so you do the math and you can tell me if he actually slept good or not. Because, um, no. snaps are usually a lot longer than that. And he also didn't want to go down for me. He wanted to fuss the whole time. So I also had to just lay in my, like, lay down here where I couldn't hear him. I had to turn the baby monitor off and everything. I have a baby monitor. But I had to turn all of that off just so I couldn't hear him because he needed a nap. And I could not let him fuss like it was killing me to just let him lay there and fuss and if you're a mom you know the feeling like but once again my mom told me he needs a nap just let him cry let him talk it out i don't know my rings on my finger sorry i just noticed that um but she's like just let him just let him cry it out so that's what I'm doing. My mom gets off at 1.30 today, and then we have to run a bunch of errands. So, he's going to go to his dad's. If you don't know, me and me and his dad are still together. Well, let me rephrase this. Let me tell you the backstory. So, I got pregnant from a guy, not mentioning name. Um, I will go into a whole separate story about that, actually, but... His baby daddy, his real dad is not in his life. Like I said, I will make a whole YouTube on that if you guys want it. But his dad's not in his life right now. So, it's just me and his stepdad. His stepdad, which is pretty much what I call his dad because he's been there since literally day one. We were best friends. We dated before we broke up because of drama. Well, I texted him the day I found out I was pregnant. I said, look, I'm pregnant. We were supposed to get back together when we were 18. I told him, look, I'm pregnant. I understand if you don't want to get back with me when I'm 18 now because I am going to have a kid. And he told me, no, I love you. I'm going to get back with you no matter what because I want to be with you. So I said, okay, okay. Well, we started talking more and more again, even though we weren't really supposed to because of drama. Well... I started struggling really bad through the pregnancy. So, he stuck by my side and we ended up getting back together before I actually had the baby. Um, before I had my baby, we actually got back together. Even though we weren't supposed to. And so, he's been there since like... My... He's been for the, there for the pregnancy since I was four weeks along. So... He is pretty much dad to the baby. I mean, you've heard the saying, blood doesn't make a father, and it don't. It really does not. Blood does not make a dad at all. Um, if you know me, I actually, if you know me, I actually don't even have a dad. My dad walked out when I was a year old. He asked mom for a divorce and all that. So I never grew up with a dad. Um, so... He's, anyways, that's another story. If you want to hear it, just come down below and I will tell you guys. But anyways, uh, he, um, is gonna go to his dad's today. Sorry for the underwear being on camera. Sorry about that. He's gonna go to his dad's today while me and his gram gram, because that's what my mom's called to him. It's gram gram. While me and gram gram go out and do some stuff we gotta do, he's gonna go hang out with his dad. His dad does not live with me because we are both still teens. He's only 17. I'm only 17. He's got to live with his parents. It's just, how the, it's just how they wanted it to be. And it's how we're going to respect it and it's going to be, okay? Okay. So, until he's 18, 
he lives with his family. There's nothing wrong with that. He comes over like every day. He's constantly over here. I'm constantly over there. He's constantly on FaceTime calls with me and everything, which is why I don't upload videos a lot anymore because I'm on the phone with him so he can see his son. Well, he gets grounded a lot because, no offense, he's 17. He's a 17-year-old boy. He's a troublemaker. He is changing. So before anyone comes at me, oh my God, you don't need to be with the troublemaker, blah, 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 blah. He's changing, y'all. He is becoming like a really different person. I promise you, I am okay being with him. He has even grown up a lot to being a dad, but he still has his moments. So if he gets grounded, he gets grounded from seeing me. Um, and like no phone or anything, but he doesn't get grounded from his son because that's not fair to his son or him. So what that means is he's grounded right now. So he can't see me. So what I'll do, he won't be able to call either because he'll end up talk, trying to talk to me and he can't or else he'll get in trouble longer. So what this means usually when he's grounded is I usually take the baby over there and the baby stays over there um, for like the day or like if it's a weekend, he'll see everything for like the weekend. He's a really good dad, but me and my mom have a lot of errands to run, so I have, I'm going to take the baby over to dad's, to his dad's, and his aunt's, and they're going to watch him for a little bit if it's okay with his parental guardians, his grandparents, because that's who he lives with. I'm not getting into that story, don't ask me why, it's not my business to tell. But that's who he's going to be, that's like where he's going to be at for the day. So my mom gets off at 1.30 and I am so behind on doing stuff I need to do. So that's where I'm kind of at, like trying to get stuff done, trying to get my mom's clothes switched over for her. And it's just like all a big hassle. But I'm managing, I don't know how, but I'm managing. I, like, honestly had a lot of clothes I needed to be filled with. This isn't even mine. This is just proof me and my mom share t-shirts. No, this isn't even mine. Am I going to give it back to her? No. When she needs it, she'll probably come get it out of my closet. Because, believe it or not, this t-shirt that I'm actually wearing now is my mom's, too. Well, it was. This one grew a little small on her when she, um, when she washed it. Um, I know all of you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, just go get the baby, he's annoying, just shut him up. No. I'm sorry. If you don't want to watch this video because of that reason, that's fine with me, but I cannot go get him. I have to let him scream, which I hate so freaking much. But, uh, eventually I will show you guys him. Um, I have to consult with Dad about that, too. Because, once again, he is his dad, even though it's not his biological child. That is his dad, and his dad makes the decisions with me. His dad goes to 90% of the doctor's appointments with me, um, especially during the summer, because we just got out of school, so he'll go to a lot more with me if he's allowed. But, other than that, I will consult with dad if he wants to be on camera and all of this. But I'm not sure if dad wants it yet because there's a lot of security problems nowadays and a lot of things that I don't even know if I'm comfortable with him being on YouTube yet at this young of an age. So if I don't show him for personal reasons, I'm sorry, you may get mad at me. Go on, Shaggy. My dog's wanting down. Shaggy, come on. That's my dog. Anyways, you guys may get mad at me. But for personal reasons, if me and his dad decide not to put him on camera, that is our opinion. Please respect it. Um, eventually, when he gets older, I will probably put him on camera. But there's a lot of stuff been going on lately that I just don't feel comfortable myself, personally, putting him on YouTube at this young of an age. But, woo! I stepped on my dogs, but I'm sorry, Baggots. By the way, her name is Shaggy, but she's got a bunch of nicknames. Um, Baggots is one of them. Baggies. Shagabags. Like, she's got a bunch. She's just looking at me like, what the freak? You're calling my name, but not touching me. This is 
my dog, well, the family dog, thank you. That's the family dog. She is a pity, believe it or not. She's a pit bull. We're allowed to have them in my area with, like, no muzzle or anything. Um, because she's super nice. The most she'll do is lick you and her tail. You have to watch her. And she loves her butt being touched. I'm not touching it, so. Don't mind her just standing on me. But this is Baguettes. Baguettes. Shaggy. Shagabads. Shaggy Marie. That's how she knows she's in trouble. <laughs> That's her middle name. Her full name is Shaggy Murray Attitude last year, and she got Attitude because when she was a puppy, she used to growl at her food. Like, she would full-on sit there having an argument with our food. And this is why I don't do stuff around my house, because I still have clothes to do. Like, I'm sitting on some, but I still have clothes to do. And I just sat down and started playing with my dog because I have ADHD really, really bad. So I just started playing with my dog, and now I'm distracted, and I need to, like, I have so many things to do. And it's 12.50. My mom gets off at 1.30. This video is 16 minutes long, and I don't even know what this video is about. Um, but this is my ADHD for you guys. I will do 10 million different things and get distracted 10 million different times before getting anything done. But now, I'm going to go take my son's clothes out of the dryer. And put my mom's clothes in. And the reason for that being is all I really have left to fold is some, like, underwear. And I don't want you guys seeing that, really. So, let's go do my son's clothes real quick while he screams and muck upstairs. I have to really pull that door because of the wood. Oh, yeah. Peep the hat. I am in love with Pennywise. It's my boyfriend's. But, um, creepy basement. Garage, I should say, because it's my creepy garage. So, anyways, I don't really know what this video is about. I guess this is just like a day in my normal life of what I do. I don't have dishes because I did those yesterday. I also don't um have any more of his laundry to do because I did that the other day. Um, and I'm not doing any of his grandma's laundry. All I'm really doing is putting her jeans in for her because she needs those for work. So. And it's really cold outside today, so he's going to wear a long sleeve, too. I just don't know what yet. Oh, my God, guys. Look at these freaking adorable sleepers that I found at Target. Which, I do not have a Target near me where I live. But when we go visit my family, my mom takes me to Target because I love Target. So, like, peep these adorable freaking footballs. I got him for his daddy because his dad loves football. I got him for his daddy. They're winter PJs. Because his dad plays football and stuff like. Oh, and then there's my clothes in my child's basket. I don't know why, but like, there, there just is. Then he needed a lot of stuff wash. Like, he was out of everything almost. But I guess this video is pretty much just going to be a day in my life slash... My ADHD. You guys can't even see me, so. Yeah. Okay. He's even got, like, Dr. Seuss onesies. Dr. Seuss onesies. And I'm like, oh, they're so adorable. He's got, like, Mickey Mouse DJs, everything. It's so cute. Now I get to take this basket full of clothes upstairs and fold them all. Will I do that today? Honestly, if I'm answering as a mom, no. No, I won't. Probably not. I probably will not do them today at all. I probably will wait till, like, Sunday. Because I can't even do them Saturday because we have a family reunion to go to. So, uh, yeah. Peep that. I can't even do anything Saturday, which my boyfriend's supposed to be going along with, too. So, I don't know, but he's supposed to be going along. It all depends on how he does today and, like, tomorrow or today and how he did, like, yesterday and stuff because he got grounded, like, Tuesday. So, it depends on how he does, pretty much depending on if he goes with me or not. So, 
So, I think I'm going to end this 20 minute long video of nothing because y'all are probably not even going to watch this, which is why I try to think of more creative, fun content. But uh, the problem is I don't have anyone to film with. So I'm going to start convincing my boyfriend to see if we can do like games and stuff and start filming those with you guys because I feel like you guys would like those. Um, but let me know about them below what you guys want to start seeing more of because I will start doing it for you guys because I need more subscribers and honestly like this video is probably going to get like zero views all the way through like it might get one and then they're going to be like oh my god it's boring cancel I'm not even going to finish watching it so, because it's 20 minutes of me doing nothing and talking about my life so yeah and if you want a story time on my son's dad and his whole life story comment down below and I will give that to you I think I just got my white pants dirty this is why I don't wear white pants <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe. Comment down below some games you want me to do. If you want to meet my boyfriend, comment down that below. And comment down below if you want to backstory on my baby's dad. I will do all that. And like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!